Okay. Missile Command. Atari's 1980 Smash Hit. And I do mean a Smash Hit. This was the first game we actually charged 50 cents to play. Other than the Black Knight, which also came out. Pinball also came out in 1980. And people were actually lining up to play it. What a beautiful piece of equipment. Now, what makes this specific machine nice, this is the original metal overlay that we've done a little black touch-up to, but the original artwork is almost perfect. And that is because we got this out of someone's house who got, got it when it was only a few years old. Look at the side art. Side art's really nice. This is an original decal from Atari. And we've only had to do a little bit of light touch-up on the white edges and a couple spots in the color, but it's just beautiful. Look at the other side too, Frank. And uh, it just came out really nice. I just don't think you're gonna find a nicer machine. We did put yellow T-molding on this. Originally it had black T-molding. We think the yellow sets it off pretty nice. Uh, come around back here, Frank. I'm gonna show you what else we did. We put new capacitors in the monitor, a new flyback high voltage unit. There's also a new resistor uh, in the vertical circuit. And there's also a curl mod that we did. On the bottom we have a new filter capacitor so the logic board or the power supply gets some nice quality voltage. And here's the power supply that we've put all new filter caps on. That kind of bulletproofs and, uh, the power supply and helps out the original logic board so it runs nice and smooth. And boy is this nice. Trackball. Brand new rollers. So it rolls real smooth. Yes, of course, when you do it hard, there's a slight squeak. They always did, as people know. But it's working as nice as it can work, considering what a great program this was. Oh, here's a little known fact. Did you know you can only have eight shots on the screen at once? So in other words, if you have eight things, until they blow up, you can't fire anything else. Yes, of course, if you run your cities out, that's the end of that. But you can only have eight shots on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't push them anymore until one explodes. That's actually in the program. Because we actually used to have people call and say, we don't know what's wrong. Is something wrong with the game because it doesn't shoot you? <laughs> yes, we had those calls. Is something wrong? <laughs> and we didn't know that until we researched it. That was years ago. But still some people don't know. You know what? They use this machine in Terminator 2. This is the game John Connor's playing in um, the arcade when the Terminator's looking for him. Uh, the other Terminator. And uh, he's playing this, and this, of course, it ends, as you're going to see now. Look. The end. That's right. That's why they chose this specific game. Isn't that sharp? Fast anyway. times at Ridgemont High also. Face, oh, is it? At is the it? end of the movie. Face yeah. Times at Ridgemont High. A famous game. And a beautiful condition uh, survivor from the original days. Hey, you know what? I didn't even look. Let's see what the meter has to say. 16,000 plays. Well, that's, that's 4,000 bucks. So the game took in 4,000 gross. The uh, location split the money 50-50. That means the man paid 3,000 for it. He took in a cool $2,000. Uh, oh, he lost money on it. Oh, yes. I guess you didn't know that, but 75% of all these machines never made their costs back. That's why the arcades have been disappearing over these years. And even though it's a great game, whoever bought it never got the money back. Oh, one last thing. We put in a new black plexiglass here that covered the original. Now underneath it there's a clear plexi that has the silk screen play high score player 2 alpha delta and omega base. A lot of missile commands those plastics are missing. This one's still intact. And look at that gorgeous bright clear picture. Beautiful. It's done and ready. How about running a game for your next party? My daughter, Terry, will tell you all about renting games for your next event. Do you want your next party to be a big hit? Rent one or more of our games for your next event. We have both old and new pinball machines. Or a game that up to four people can play at the same time. Touchscreen games are a lot of fun. Or how about a bubble hockey? Our dual 
jewelry men bring them in and set them up. We even have jukeboxes. <laughs> Go to our website for more information at tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.